Yo, what's cracking, people? We are back here on the channel. You guys better be having a great day, and if not, it's about to be turned around with this video on how to do a crook or a nose grind, whatever you prefer to call it. I'm gonna be giving you guys tips on front side and back side. So before you know we get into all of that, make sure you like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below for any suggestions. Would appreciate it. And uh, I'm just gonna show you a crook and a nose grind, so you guys have a good idea what I'm talking about. going to be talking about crooks and with the pinch. So what you want to do is that it took me a long time to realize how to actually do them properly. But like what you're going to do is that you're going to have like all all your weight into that crook and you want to make sure you're pushing out a little bit and I don't know what you want to learn first is how to do a nose grind like that or a front side or back side. What I prefer is a front side nose grind because you come in more like forward to it and it's a bit easier. So with a crook, I learned how to do them like just a pinch like that. It took me a long time. The first time I did it, I did it on a, a edit and it kind of looks like a bit of like a willy grind. So you gotta make sure when you're doing it, you gotta put all your pressure, all your weight into that crook. So you can just push it down and just make sure it looks nice. And so, yeah, well, it doesn't have to look nice. You just have to be happy with it, I guess. So yeah, sorry if I'm a bit like a sketch this morning. I just kind of woke up. Had no warm-up practice and uh, have a bit of a runny nose, which kind of sucks. Um, it's not good to be like sniffling all the time when you're doing a video. So let me just explain what a nose grind is. So yeah, you saw what a nose grind is, but let me just uh, explain on how to do it more. You gotta make sure you have good pop. And I find nose grinds to do it a little bit easier than 5.0s, or at least just lock into it. Because a 5.0, you have to pop, then get into it. But with a nose grind, it's just like a nose manual. And you just have to push down on it. And you can do a little like nose manual, or you can just push it down on it like I do. I usually just like, do a little pressure down, or sometimes I decide to do like a little nose manual on the ledge. So, yeah, what you want to do is, so you don't want to take it for a long time. Um, if you're doing like a, a manual, maybe a long time, but if you're just pressuring down, maybe it's a little bonk, because like bonks kind of like look nice. What a bonk is, is that basically you just like go on it, shorten amount of time, and just like push out, because with nose grinds, whichever front side or back side, I prefer to do front side, whatever you guys want to do, is that when you do them, especially when I first started doing them, you kind of like come off that and then you like hit the back truck on it. So when you're doing a nose grind, all you're going to do is make sure you pop out and just push and that'll make sure you don't hit your back truck and it'll just look a lot cleaner. Alright guys, one of the most important things about learning grinds is having good trucks. And what I've stuck with is uh, for the last four years, my three suggestions are independent trucks, thief trucks and thunder trucks. Make sure you write that down. Thieve Trucks are an Australian wide company and they have amazing colors for their suggestions on trucks and I really like it and so that's the same with uh, Independent Thunder. They all have great color suggestion and yeah, these uh, Evan Smith Purple Independent Trucks have lasted me about almost a year, maybe like eight months, somewhere between eight months and 12 months and that's just, that's an absolutely amazing for me and you can still see they've, they've still done well and even the fact that I haven't even warmed up yet, I can still pull together good tricks and that's because I have good trucks as well. That's what you gotta make sure you have and you gotta make sure you wax it up and everything, make sure you wax up that ledge and you wanna have it more waxed up than sticky cause like if you get stuck on a crook, that is just absolutely terrible and the thing is that you gotta have it make, you gotta make sure you have your board quite wide as well because what can happen, if you have new shoes especially, when you do crooks, sometimes your foot can go on the ledge and it can just like kind of like stick onto it and then you fall straight forward like, I don't know how many times I've like stuck to crooks and just fall straight forward and almost face fine. So you gotta make sure you have everything set up well. You gotta make sure you have a wide deck, good trucks, waxed up, and then you'll be set for the for the time. All you need is a, extra tips from me, from other tutorial like uh, channels, you know, like Braille, like they're amazing. And uh, yeah, that's what I wanna do. I wanna do more grind tricks because not a lot of people do them. And they're really important, especially if you wanna make it to like a big places, especially if you wanna do it, just pull out in comps or even just in general. And even if you're just watching this video just for fun, just to see me do a tutorial, that is great. And if you want to suggest more like uh, tutorials or even just challenges, anything for this channel, make sure you comment down below. I would really appreciate it. And I think I've given a lot of uh, advice on the on the crooks and nose grinds. And I've talked a lot more about crooks than nose grinds, but nose grinds are a bit easier for me especially. But I really hope you guys find them easy as well. Like not easy, but they are obviously going to take a long time to learn. And uh, they're not easy. Not sk skating is not easy at all, so that's why I do it. You know, it's hard and it's a long journey to get there, but it's definitely worth it, trust me. The relief of just getting a new trick is just absolutely amazing. So I really hope you guys have a good journey trying to find how to do these uh, nose grinds and crooks, and even if you can do them now, 
I really hope this, uh, these tips have given you guys another point of view and uh, maybe it might help. So if it has, make sure you comment down below. Make sure you comment. Uh, for any suggestions, would appreciate it. Make sure you turn that notification button on. Uh, like and subscribe. Have a great day, guys.